Hi guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. Well, it's another day, another grey winter day, but we are going to go out and try and get the rest of the tiles done um, on that back wall where the wood stove is going to go. Uh, before we go outside to the tiny house, I just want to ask you to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video with your fam family and friends. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, it really helps our videos, and uh, we really appreciate it. So, um, let's go out to the tiny house and see what we can get done today. It's a lot brighter in here today, so we're just trying to... This is the DeLorean Grey Grout that I had picked, but now that I see it with this, because I think this was the part that I was trying to match up with. It goes good with this, but this is the nice thing about these little kits, too. You have the different colors of grout, so you can stick them in there like that, if you have a bigger grout line. That one might be... And then there's this one. So we'll slide these along here. Of course, there's so many variations of the gray here that I guess I had I was gonna go with the lighter one. This one is a darker, and then this one's darker even still. So now there's another big dilemma. here than on this lock tile, but I'm even leaning towards this darker one. Let's take this, put it up here. And again, this tile, it's much darker here, and look at this, is not matching up. I was talking to the guy in Honey Hardware about that. Kind of leaning towards the darker gray. This is like getting poked in the eye though. Uh, this one isn't going to fit in the crack there, but it will here. It's, real, it's not a huge difference. This one's darker. Mm hmm? This one? Yeah. This one too light, do you think? Yeah, this one's sort of got both. But this one sort of more more or less goes away, whereas these are gonna stand out more. doesn't make it any easier when it's dark on this tile and lighter on this tile. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Oh, I'm gonna have to have a think on this. But it's a really bright sunny day today, so you can see how nice this looks. And Chris is getting the tile saw set up outside. It's cold out, so he's actually putting some RV antifreeze in it. So we're going to try and get these ones done on the wall. Those still slid down a bit even with um, him putting the screws in which is really disappointing but again not much you can do about it. Um, we'll just fill uh, that crack at the top with grout too and I think it'll be fine. Really really hard to do these big heavy tiles on the wall and we knew that. We've done this before, so we've struggled with this before. And, you know, I mean, we've done a lot of tiles, but we're not professionals. So, but we try and do everything we can, um, you know, because it means not, not only not having to pay another um, trade to do it, but not having to um, schedule them and wait on them 
to be able to continue with. You know, if I had to wait on a guy to come and install these tiles, then I can't get the flooring done and I can't get the wood stove in if I've got to wait for somebody else to come and do all this. So that's another reason we do this stuff ourselves. The other thing too is um, I'd like to use the same color grout for the colored tiles and these, of course. Um, I think this is the one we were leaning towards. So um, it actually looks pretty good on this tile too. So basically that's what it would look like if it was the grout line. Because these, these are actually about a quarter inch, these little pieces of plastic. That one's quite light. The thing with this one, the light one being on the floor, is it's going to stain. So, and then that one, uh, you can see where there's, the grout line is going to stand out quite a bit more. Whereas wanting it to kind of disappear is what I'm looking for. So, it seems like the medium one, the winter grey, is going to go best with this field tile too, the floor tile. So, yeah, you can see where it kind of, it sort of disappears where the darker one stands out more. And the light one, I think, would stain too much on the floor. So it looks like winter gray. Is it not DeLorean? This is the winter gray, yeah. Uh, now I don't know what I did with the DeLorean. Did I stick it in the wall somewhere and forget it? Don't know. <laughs> this getting old is tough. Tough gig. Yikes. Oh, maybe the DeLorean is this light one. Yep, that's right. That's the DeLorean. So that was the one I was going to decide to use. This is the one I think I'm going to go with. And I think this one's too dark. So. There you go. And if you didn't see the past video, I explained that this is why I chose these 8 by 24 field tiles for the shower walls rather than uh, the exact same tile in the 12 by 24 was because of the weight. We've, we did this in the last shower um, and those big white, the big white ones that size were sliding down the wall we had just the same difficulties. These are thinner and they're quite a bit smaller but they still look really big and, and you have less grout lines. So that's why I went with the 8x24 um, so that we didn't have as much difficulty with them sliding down the wall with the adhesive. And being on the concrete board uh, hopefully will help even more from them sliding. The last two colored tiles on the wall here, and then we can start doing the gray ones. Do you want the stool to put them on to butter them? Yeah, it seems to work the best. Is that the one with the chip on the bottom? Yep. Right there. 
Yeah, because we were going to put it pointing down, right? Yeah. 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 Frustrating, eh? I think there's too much there, it's gonna blob out. That's better. Keep an eye on you guys. Where's that chip? Right there. Yeah. Want me to hold it? There's not enough adhesive for it to stick into. Just maybe leave it. No, we're gonna have to split the difference, yeah. right? So we're just gonna have to keep an eye on it. All the things. Okay, one more. Oops. I was thinking we should have looked for the transitions at home hardware yesterday. Yeah, they probably don't have much. Mm -hmm. I guess we're going to have to go to the city, eh? I'm going to sink it tomorrow. Oh, okay. Because we're going to need uh, more propane. Oh, okay. We're going to keep it warm in here. Yeah. Do you think we should... Just get the tiles done and then load the stove in, and that way we can keep it warm. Yeah. That way and do the flooring mm -hmm. with the wood stove on. Yeah, because that way we've got, we got heat up the floor, right? Yeah. The tile. Yeah. Because it's kind of a waste of propane, isn't it? 
size that cut off is, Chris, we could cut another one to do like a, a line of them under the door. Yeah. Now, how is this one for width? Are you going to have to cut it? I don't know. Hmm. Just better check that. Mm -hmm. On both sides. Mm -hmm. a quarter of an inch. Discussing now is that these gray tiles are too wide, so they're clearly bigger than these colored ones. And um, so Chris is going to have to take the measurement. Here's my finger. The measurement here, minus a quarter of an inch for a grout line there, and cut these. And there's 24 and a quarter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's why they kept creeping. Yeah. Hmm. So it means cutting these, which we didn't plan on doing. Now the ones going on the wall here, we'll just put them straight down horizontally and only have to cut the one on the bottom. So that's not too bad. Yeah. I can go three quarters. Of course, it's a little bit different on this side than it is on that side. But that's okay. You can see how there's really not very many to have to cut here. It just sucks that it's cold and you have to do it because the cold water sprays on you too when you're doing the tile saw. Using it. Uh, I've mentioned before how when we were building the first tiny house, everybody kept saying when I posted pictures, you need more windows, you need more windows. Um, you can see with this kitchen window here, you can walk into the utility room. I left it plain white, of course. Um, and with the door open, you can see how much light there is in here. So again, it's one of those things where, you know, I'm not going to have to turn the light on every time I come to get something out of the freezer or to put something in the washing machine. It looks, I mean, it's like daylight in here, but there's no window in here. So 
um, like I've said before, I need the wall space because I need cabinets and storage and that sort of thing. So you can see how beautiful and bright it is in here. And again, down there, it's going to be even brighter once Chris gets that um, door light in the door. It's going to let more daylight in down there. So tiny little window in the bathroom, this one here. And like I mentioned before, the reason this is the height it is because I'm putting cabinets above the window. Um, but it is incredibly bright in here with basically two windows in, well, one big window and one tiny little window in the whole house, this side of the house anyway. The other side is going to have a window in the bedroom and a window where the little dining room table is going to go when you go through the passageway to the other one. So I want uh, wall space for my cabinets, shelves, um, and art. So, I'm really happy with this. Like I said, look at this. You can see everything in here and um, no window. So, very, very happy. Poor Chris, using a tile saw. You can see the mist out there. It sprays water all over you while you're cutting. Eww. Yikes. Not bad in hot weather, but not very good in this weather. Better him than me. I got an excuse, I'm crippled. Another thing I thought I'd mention too is you can see the sheen on the wall here and I'm extremely happy with this paint. We've been using it for a couple of years now. Um, we're getting our paint at home hardware and this is the velvet finish. I'm really pleased with it and especially when you look at this beautiful red paint up close, um, I really, really like the finish on it. Just show you this part that uh, the sun is shining on and how nice it looks. Very happy with this paint. And um, like I said, this is what they call the velvet sheen. So just in case people are wondering, paints, there's so much paint out there and it's, it's a big decision. Very hard decision, so much choice. Chris is warming his hands up. <laughs> so cold out there. Do you want to stand them up uh, side by side or something so that they're uh, going to dry off? Yeah, I don't, so might be... I don't want to lean against the wall. No, okay. Maybe well, I'll just put them Oops. Lean them up against the boxes here. Chris is numbered, numbered all the tiles too because like I said the measurements are a little bit different on each of them.
too. Yeah. yeah, I can see a little bit of shading right there. Knock this one over so I don't move it. They seem like they're not as thick either. Darn it. And I can't get down low enough to see. <laughs> I think they mm. I think that's good. Uh, I can't seem to get it to go up higher. through it pretty quick, eh? Mm -hmm. Are you going right to the floor with that one? It's just going to be up a bit. Oh. Um, do you want some cardboard? I don't know what it's going to take. It might take a spacer. Oh, okay. Of. But at least it can't be seen back there. It's cold back, I guess. It's busy. Just touching. Mm. Okay. <laughs> You're on a lot of piglet or whoops a daisy. <laughs> Make things awful hard on the editor. Mm. Those ones are really bad. Oh, do you want me to hold the tile? <laughs> in size, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah.
sure it's not your square? I can see that sometimes with cheap tiles, but not with expensive ones. Just two cut ones on the bottom there, and then we're done this wall. Yeehaw! Of course, you gotta go out in the freezing cold again. The other thing I wanted to check, um, Chris and I were discussing how far, I was sure the stove didn't go up to the 36 inch height, um, like a countertop height, and I checked last night, it's 33 and a half, so you can see how, um, I just got that chip tile, or the bottom edge of this tile um, covered. So that makes me really happy. At first I thought there was going to be, well we were thinking to go from the top to the bottom up like three full tiles, but because we went from the top down, um, the, the edge of this tile is going below the stove. So you're not going to see these gray ones at all. That's why we're not worrying too much about the grout lines and the fact that they're different sizes and everything, which would have been a nightmare anywhere else. But because these are fire rated tiles, they're going behind the wood stove because it's a wood stove and um, that's why I chose them and um, of course they have to, you have to have tiles or non-combustibles 18 inches in front of a wood stove to pass code. Um, so it doesn't matter that the grout lines and everything and the sizes are all weird and wonky here, but I'm going to have a straight line across and all you're going to see is the colored tiles um, up through there. 
and I, like I said, I knew this was, the stove was lower than the th normal 36 inch countertop height, which again is going to be really good because then, um, you know, because of he heavy cast iron pans, um, it's going to make it easier to lift them and that sort of thing. And of course there's that beautiful nickel bar on the front of the stove to keep you from touching the hot surface. So now Chris has a torch trying to get the tile saw thawed. <laughs> Just enough to get those last two tiles cut on that wall. Hey caramba. can't get this to work then we're not going to be able to cut those two tiles today darn it anyway the sooner we can get this these two walls done the sooner we can get this wood stove in here holy moly it's always something but then most crazy people don't try to use a tile saw in this kind of weather well guys, another day. We got some of the tiles done. We do need to still go uh, get those transitions that we forgot to get and uh, unfortunately the tile saw did freeze up again. <laughs> it's such a brutal thing to do in this cold weather anyway and uh, it, you just can't get that saw uh, to say to stay thawed, which shouldn't come as a surprise of course. Um, but anyway, he's got those two tiles to cut um, to finish that wall. We've got to get some more stuff in the city anyway. So that's it for today. Um, love the progress so far and I'm still in love with those tiles uh, even though there are some issues. <laughs> but uh, that's it for today. Hope you like the video and enjoy what we're doing. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends and we'll see you next time.